Well, good afternoon and welcome back. It's time for the man here at uh, the Corral, East Georgia State Bab, uh, Bobcats and the Georgia Highlands Chargers here lined up for a GCAA men's game. Let's go down to our starting lineups with Doug Walker, PA announcer. And starting lineups for both teams have just been announced. And it is a sophomore day uh, here today. And, of course, uh, receiving uh, recognition on the men's team, it was uh, Jason Air Jones, uh, sophomore, uh, Mohamed Conti, and uh, Mamadou Diop, who is uh, in the starting lineup from Senegal. So there we go. Uh, the men's not a, not a great outing and finish for the uh, women, but... Uh, the um, uh, East Georgia team is uh, actually kind of right in the thick of things with Georgia Highlands. Right now, Georgia Highlands is uh, kind of in a, a, a tie for second. There's about a three-way tie there. And uh, so today is a big day. They could use a big win. Uh, South Georgia lost. That would definitely help things a little bit. They take on Albany Tech going on right now, as a matter of fact. South Crescent Tech and South Georgia. And Andrew is at Central Georgia Tech. Right here, we've got East Georgia. And the Georgia Highlands Chargers going at it. East Georgia Bobcats will take the first uh, the tip off. And we're underway here at the Corral. Two on the shot clock. Uh, fast jumper, no good off the iron. And Jones. Gets up high, but it's taken away by Towns, Cam Towns. The sophomore comes back with the rebound. Conte taking up the 4-4. The Chargers, a whistle on the plate. And that is going to be on uh, number five, uh, Jordan Fortis. That's the first foul of the game. Conti over to Floyd, down low to Diop, back out to Floyd. He's going to line up for a three, and off the front iron, no good. Jones gets the rebound, kicks it back out to Hopkinson. He's going to try a three off the iron. Floyd flies over for the rebound and saves it. Jones back over to Conti. Spins, reverse layup, no good. Diop gets it. He misses it. We've got everybody flying after it. The ball's going to be knocked out. Jones and Diop both could not control the ball. So I think somebody greased the ball uh, earlier. I think both, both, both games. No one could hang on to it. East Georgia bringing it down now. They have a 2-0 lead. Just underway here at the Corral this afternoon. Tony McIntosh with you. Glad to have you along. For Charger basketball as we kind of get toward a wind down the season. Try to go baseline and it's going to be out. Out of bounds on Mamadou. 
He was the last to tip it. And let's see, we've got a foul down the floor. And that's going to be on Jones. Or Hopkinson, excuse me. I thought they called it one, but it was ten. That is going to be his first foul. Thought about three, now going to drive the lane. And die up, knocks that one away and saves his own block. Conti, an attack from behind. Now that, oh, what? Okay, we've got a tie up and a rollover. Should have been a walk, but. Jones has got to inbound to Floyd. Or excuse me, Logan, excuse me. And that is going to count. I'll, I'm over here giving Anthony Floyd all this, and it was actually Logan. Isaiah Logan at the line to shoot two or one, excuse me, to go for a three-pointer. And that's not going to happen. Die up, tried to get it, and it's out on East Georgia, so a fresh set of uh, a fresh shot clock for the Chargers. As Jones will inbound from underneath. And he gets it out to Conti. Swings it around, Hopkinson over to Conti, drives. And he drug that, last, that back foot. He kind of slid it a little bit. It's going to be East Georgia ball. And they finally get it in. Uh, Grant's going to bring it down. East Georgia is six and eight on the year in the conference, nine and 19 overall. Highlands with a much better record at nine and four, going up 10 to four with a Central uh, Central Georgia loss today, and that could put them in second place heading into the uh, near the tournament. Conti tried to make that one go, a missed opportunity. East Georgia. Slings it back in, and Jones is going to bring it up. Long three, no good. Tried to follow his shot. Diop had to stay at the other end. He had a wardrobe malfunction with his shoe, so trying to get his shoe back on. Now Grant setting up the uh, Bobcat offense. Gallman drives, no good. Jones with the rebound. Logan to Hopkinson, down low to die up. He's going to turn around and put it softly off the glass. Diop has got a little bit of a height advantage and size on uh, on the guys guarding him, and that is. Uh, that's 15, that is Reynolds. Also got a little age on him too, and I think uh, he, he needs to use that to his advantage today. Gallman drives, puts it off the left side, and good. It's a tie game at four piece. Hopkinson is gonna drive it, take it inside, dishes out. They swing it around to back to Conti on the far side. 15 on the shot clock. He's going to drive. Ball gets slapped away. And East Georgia capitalizes and uh, takes advantage of a turnover there. A loose ball, and they come up with it. Grant, near side over to Colbert. Long three, no good. They get the rebound, and they miss again. 
It's uh, 16 on the shot clock. Yeah, it looks like a complete line change coming in for the Cougars as they get up off the bench. Reverse Cam uh, Towns with a reverse layup. Hopkinson works inside, little jumper. Wow, that was halfway down the shoot and then popped right back out. Molaire back out to Grant. Takes it, left side layup, good. It's eight to four, East Georgia over the Chargers right now. Conti takes it inside, and layup no good. They try to keep it alive, they do, but then it gets slapped out of their hands. Conti tried to get his own rebound and put it back up, but Gallman had to other plans for that ball. Play a little pitch and catch over on the near side. Logan almost got that one. Seven on the shot clock, gonna drive inside, lay up good. Right now East Georgia is just finding some seams and they're taking it. And it's a, let's see, we got a foul and still have a jump ball. Or right, there's a timeout. All right, we'll take a timeout. This is the Charger Network. 10-4 is our score. You can become a part of uh, Charger Nation and a supporter of Charger Athletics and all sports. Uh, become part of the uh, Charger Club or maybe the All-Star Club, Champions, or All-American Club. It's very easy to do. You can uh, go online to find out more information at highlands.edu, or you can just contact the athletic department here and uh, talk with them on how you can become a part of Charger Sports. Season passes and uh, all kinds of swag to go along with it and uh, special tickets and recognitions. Giovanni for three, no good. Baldwin spins and puts it away. Ten to six, our game score right now. East Georgia out in front. They drive off the window, no good. And the die up, oh, that was uh, the rebound, but it went out, and now there's going to be a foul. That's going to be a blocking foul. Got Giovanni in, uh, Nelson's in. Also, Payne I got a new uh, new set of Chargers into the lineup. Coach trying to do a little bit of uh, some different things with their uh, starters. Abraham Abezamakor also in there too. First time I've said his name today, and I got it right. I feel pretty good about that. <laughs> Abezamakor. Delta back over to Payne. 
Baldwin in the far, far corner. Gives it off to Giovanni. Baldwin off the window. It's good. Now it's a two-point game. And he worked for that one. That was uh, Colbert with two. Give and go to Eben Bez, uh, Ezbacour. Needs to get out of that lane, that's for sure. Baldwin swings it back over. Payne for three, be there. Sometimes it's good to mix uh, the lineup, but most of the guys that are in right now are usually your starting five with the exception of Giovanni, and he did, he did get a start the last time here, so sometimes you get your reserves in at the lineup, and then they come off the bench and they put a, put a show on for you. you know? Sometimes it, it works good like that. It's a one-point game. That foul is going to be... On Abez McCour, and that's going to be his first foul. Baker is going to the line to shoot, and he misses. With this group in here right now, you could probably you could get a big ex scoring explosion going if uh, they can get the rhythm just right. Two point game. Jaquim Payne. Over to Nelson, back to Payne. Giovanni's open, sets up for a three. It's off the iron, no good. Baldwin comes back up with it and he gets nailed. The Bezema Coeur tipped it to Baldwin and Baldwin put the shot back and got fouled. So he's gonna go to the line and shoot a couple. I'm not going to tell you which one of these officials likes Skittles, but I saw him at the concession stand getting some earlier today. I just uh... <laughs> that was, uh, that's his power food before the game. They got a bag of Skittles and a Powerade. He's all hyped up. <laughs> Long pass. That one's an end zone pass. Spinning around. Wow. All right, not much happening there. They got it inside. Kind of a miscommunication. And Nelson's going to get whistled for a block. You find out a lot of stuff out at the concession stand if you're, you know, if you're in the right place at the right time. See, see folks out there. Colton, hands off, no good, put back uh, by Colbert. The freshman forward. Giovanni has it on the far side. And off to Nelson. Long three, Baldwin's, uh, that was Kim. Jaquim Payne. Payne for the three, and the uh, Chargers are in the lead now, 16-15. Almost got him in no man's land. Take away by Baldwin. Over to Nelson. He's going to take it down the middle. Giovanni lays it up and in. And East Georgia calls a timeout. 16-15, 9.42 in the first half. This is the Chargers Sports Network.
All right, we're back here. First half, 9.42 to go. Tony McIntosh with you. Appreciate you tuning in and listening. Good to have you from all over the state listening to uh, Charger basketball as they take on East Georgia. The Bobcats, who uh, just inbound the ball. Chargers got a double team in the corner over there, and it's going to be Highlands basketball. Payne on the far side, loses the handle. East Georgia Bobcats take it away. Try a three, and that's going to be off the rim. No good. Another miss. They go back and set the offense up. Going down low inside, a little jump hook is good. Eighteen seventeen. Payne out front, he gets double team, gets it off to Nelson on the near wing, wants a screen and he gets one. Swings it back out to Baldwin. Baldwin reverses and is going to be a wild gun call a block on that. So foul's going to be on uh, number four, uh, Amon McDowell. Or excuse me, it's on, yeah, it is on McDowell. Giovanni over to Nelson. Conti getting ready to check back into the game. Scores table. Nelson will shake and bake. Three. Make it happen. He does. Oh, you make a move like that, you have got to hit that shot. Nelson. He, he, he faked me out of my shoes up here. I, my shoes just went down the stands there. It, that could be bad. Dolman. He does a little shake and bake. Ball taken away. They get rid of it. Nelson. One-on-one, -on -one, layup, good. It's the Nelson Show. Jaquan Nelson, two big, uh, big points. Two scoring opportunities there. East Georgia swings it around the horn, takes it down to the opposite side. Off a cuff off of a uh, Highlands foot, and it's recovered. Nelson has it on the far wing. He stops, jumper. Well, we have a collision and a near block by Baldwin. Got to watch that backboard slapping. <laughs> I know that's happening. It, it, it could, almost could have... I don't know, it could have been a goal 10, I, you know. If you're hitting the board, sometimes it is. But Baldwin, he got uh, jeopardized for that last time. And it's going to be he caught the ball on the line. And now we get, do have a line change coming in now. It's going to be Jones, Diop, and also, see, who else is checking into the game? Payne back into the game. So we have Giovanni, Jones, Payne, Conti, and Diop in for the Highland, uh, Georgia Highlands Chargers. Twenty-three nineteen, the Chargers out in front. Fake to three, drives, sings it over to the near side. Long three, it's good. Colton, Austin Colton with that three-pointer. And he times it up to within one. Giovanni near wing, gives it to Conti. Give and go, die up, left side. Oh, and that's going to be a, a goaltending by Colbert. 
Yeah, he grabbed the rim, slapped the backboard, grabbed the ball, everything. He did everything wrong on that one. <laughs> but he got up there. All right. Um, so it's got to count. And it's 25-22. Derrick Jones swings it all around the near side. Three-point attempt. It's no good by Colton. But they get the rebound and a fresh 20. Drive, lays it up off the window. 25-24, it's a one-point game. East Georgia very aggressive on defense right now. They've got a, a man and they're double teaming at the same time. A little give and go and go again. Jones loses the handle of the basketball. That one, he was setting up a good two-handed dunk, but he lost the handle on it. Inside pass, good bounce pass. Dunk is missed and a foul on Jones. Valjean, no good. And Logan comes back into the game. Giovanni has a seat. And we're all tied at 25 apiece. Whatever combination JJ puts in there works pretty well. I mean, you've got you've got a, a bench full of talented starters. Nice. Logan floater is good and a foul. Logan may be getting a new nickname, uh, Isaiah uh, Mr. Hustle Logan or something like that. I mean, he has been all over, following the shots and everything else. He's been playing pretty, pretty awesome today. Misses that foul shot, but he gets his own rebound. Back over to Payne. Inside the Diop. He's going to turn around and he's going to travel. Wow. Yeah, he moved that pivot foot. He just... Didn't have the um, didn't have the spin move. All right, we've got another timeout. It's a media break. We'll take it right here on the Charger Sports Network. Charger Sports Network brought to you in part by Sonovas, Callaway Blue Spring Water, Shepherd's Tree and Sweeping Service, and also High Tech Signs. Just a few of the Charger Athletic Booster Club sponsors. Uh, corporate, uh, corporate donations and your corporate sponsorship is definitely appreciated here at Georgia Highlands College. And just give the athletic office a call and see how you can get in on next year. All right, East Georgia brings the ball down. 25-24. Good steal by Diop, and he gets it out to Floyd, back to uh, Jones. Or uh, that's Payne, excuse me. Going underneath, and it is going to be Charger basketball.
19 on the shot clock, over to Conti. Logan got caught underneath the and now nice give and go by die up to Jones. Air Jones down slams two. And we got a collision underneath as Logan was trying to get his feet footing and uh, prevent from falling and I guess Towns thought he was actually trying to do something else. He was just trying to keep from falling down. All right, so uh, at the line is uh, Austin Colton. Charges with a four-point lead. Foul shot is no good. Hopkinson getting ready to check in on standby. And he gets that one. Conti over to Jones. He gets the right pick. Has trouble with the ball. Die up underneath. Lays up. Works his way around and puts in two. That's the old wing move. The chicken wing move. <laughs> Get those elbows out and around the player and, and, and go. There you go. That's an old chicken wing move. That's, that's an old one. It was done to me a lot. <laughs> All right, East Georgia back up off line. No good. Gets his own rebounds. And that misses as well. Conti finally comes down with it. And he's going to push it up the floor. And a bounce pass to die up a little too much to handle. Had a little extra grease on that one. Four point game. Hopkinson comes in and Payne uh, takes a breather. Two forty six mark. A little high pass, but he's open in the far corner. Give and go. That's good. Hopkinson. Say he moved both feet before the ball went down. And it's going to be East Georgia Bobcats basketball on the length of the floor, 222. Nelson is checking in. Die up's going to go down, so we kind of going with a little smaller lineup right now. Logan Conti and Nelson front court. And you got Jones and Hopkinson. All pretty good ball handlers. Three-pointer is no good. Logan had his hand on the ball and made that possible. Hopkinson's layup's no good, but he gets fouled. Logan had good position, just enough. He was out jumped, but he had just enough position where he got the ball loose, and that uh, made it possible for that uh, layup attempt by Hopkinson. And he makes the first. Grant comes back into the game. And the second one is good.
off the glass. That's Towns. A little bump and run there, and he, he did most of the bumping. Nice dribble and go. Hopkinson lays it in for two, 35-30. Both teams kind of getting in a rhythm right now. It's taken most of the half to do that, but that's all right. Layup no good. Jones comes down with the ball and pushes up the court. Conti has it. He's going to take it all the way to the left side layup. Nobody touched him. It was like, hey, it's warm-up time. And that will be on Logan. Giovanni checking back into the game. That is, uh, I believe, that's Logan's second foul. It bangs around and rolls in. Logan goes out. Giamatti to check into the game now officially. Six-point game with 53 seconds to go in the first half. East Georgia got out to an early lead, and then the Chargers just kept chipping away at it. And that was no good. Jones grabs the rebound. Giovanni brings it across the timeline. Nelson being guarded tough. He's double teamed in the corner, but somebody's open, and Hopkinson almost went up with it. It's a good pass from Conti. He was going to slam that one home. <laughs> but they grabbed it, uh, knocked it out of his hands before he could uh, bring it up. Eight seconds on the shot clock, so they got to do something fast with this one. Conti has it, spin move, and he gets fouled. Take it to the take it to the hole. Conti's first shot is good. Holland's hanging on to if they hang on to the, uh, win this game. It's really going to put them up uh, good in the standings and at least put them in a tie for second with just a couple more games to go before they get to the tournament. That one uh, counts as well. Last few seconds here. Shot clock is off. Working around for the final shot. Austin Colton bounces it. Four seconds to go. Give and go to the big man. Off the heel. Nope. 1.3 seconds, and it is a turnover. And, well, I thought it was off of a uh, Bobcat, but apparently they say it was off of a Charger. So, anyway, with 1.3 seconds to go, East George is going to inbound. Trying to get a three, a fadeaway three, and that one's going to count. That was a three-pointer. And the end of the half. So, after the first half, 39-33, Georgia Highlands College is out in front. We'll be back with some statistics a little bit later on. That was a two-pointer. Okay, so they're waving to three off for a two. All right. 39-33. Is the halftime score here? Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with the second half of Charger Basketball next.
All right, we're back here with you at the Corral at Georgia Highlands College. Glad to have you along. Tony McIntosh with you. Halftime. 39-33 is our score right now. Other games that we have, uh, well, the only other score that we have right now, half, it's uh, 67-37 Central Georgia uh, Tech over Andrew right now. And other games, Central, uh, or rather South Crescent Tech and South Georgia are playing. And we have Albany Tech and South Georgia Tech uh, playing at this time. So that is what we have for as update uh, goes in the conference uh, today. Now, uh, after today, the uh, men will uh, be playing at home on Wednesday against Central Georgia Tech, and then they'll finish the season on the road at Andrew College in uh, Cuthbert, Georgia, or, or Cuth uh, uh, Cuthbert, Georgia. Uh, on the 9th, and that's a 3 o'clock uh, game next Saturday. Uh, and then on March the 12th, the uh, GCAA quarterfinals uh, will take place. And we'll have, uh, you check the, back on the website, all the information about the uh, tournament. Georgia Highlands hoping to get at least a third, maybe even a second seed, but they need a little help. A uh, few teams in their way right now. To get that. Albany Tech is in first place right now at 11 and 2. Central uh, Georgia and South Georgia Tech could, uh, you know, a loss between now and then and uh, just winning out, that would pretty much uh, guarantee a second place for the Highlands. Uh, Georgia Highlands are right now kind of tied, or at least tied for third in kind of a two and a half game. Starting, uh, well, the alley oop turned into a shot as we get started here. Conti back over to Hopkinson. Underneath, reverse layup, good. I think it was a, that was meant to be a, a, a pass wall, a little elbow movement there, and Towns got away with one, I believe. Towns leads the scoring for South, uh, for East Georgia with 11. Duop with uh, two points. And he adds to his total. He has eight points now. Move the ball into the near corner. Thought about a three. He's just going to drive it instead and takes it to the hole and is a foul. I believe... That is going to be on Hopkinson. And that is his second foul. Underway here in the second half at uh, the Corral here at Georgia Highlands College. Ten-point lead by the Chargers. First shot off the front iron, no good. Now Fortis with a second one, that counts. And Hopkinson with a big travel there. He, he uh, kind of got ahead of himself. And if he's not careful, they're gonna, might tee him up a little bit for that one, but they're not. Open for a three in the corner. That's going to be off this iron. No good. Hopkinson gets the rebound. Conti is going to take it up. And that's blocked. And Fortis is just playing out of control right now. He loses the ball. Conti is going to try this again, and he gets fouled from behind. And that's going to be on uh, Molaire. Well, the air gets called for that one. Conti inside, Diop, it's good. Diop now has, I believe, 10 points this game.
45-34. And that back is, basket is good. Some moans in the crowd, thinking that maybe a step or two more than needed. Nice give and go, and Hopkinson tries to go up and put it in, and he gets uh, fouled on the shot. He's going to be shooting two. Got him with the body, and uh, Hopkinson's going to go up and uh, try to knock these in. Reynolds gets uh, called for that one. And the first shot is good. Ready for the second shot. And they're both, count them, 11 point lead now by the Chargers. All the air. Gets it back over to Grant. Grant's going to drive. Lays no good. And Diop comes down with a, with a rebound. They move the ball quickly down the floor. Give and go. Hopkinson off the window. No good. Diop with a rebound. Put back. Count it. Yep, is on fire right now. Give it to the big man. That's 14 for him right now. Three from the corner, no good. Tried from the wing, and this time counted. Moliere. Moliere. 49-39, 10 point game. Pass from Conti to Hopkinson, just not a good one. Missed shot, and the ball is just like a scramble for the ball. Baldwin and Ebba Abesmakur coming into the game. Diop's going to take a breather. Had to go retrieve the ball is always the other end of the floor. And waiting on the official uh, wardrobe malfunction on his shoe, so he's fixed. He's ready to go. Ben, eight on the shot clock. Jumper misses everything, and Baldwin comes down with it and gets it out to Logan. Logan's going to drive, lays it up. It's blocked. They wanted a goal 10, and he throws that one out of bounds. Colton just looks to his right and throws it right to the bench because nobody, player wasn't there. 15-55 to go in the game. It's a 10-point game. Coo uh, the uh, char uh, Chargers out in front over the Bobcats. Long three, no good. The Bezema Court with the rebound. Kicks it back out to Payne. Back over to Jones, no good. Mm -hmm. Isaiah, his shot's no good. And it's going to be a foul on Baldwin. I believe that might be his third foul. Or his first foul, rather. Well, he was acting like that was his third foul. That's just his first foul. So. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of uh, 
enthusiasm in this team. This is a big game. This, this is a, an absolute need win. That, that one rims out for the Chargers to have some good seating in the, um, in the tournament. Logan reverse layup, no good. And count it. No, oh, offensive foul. Offensive foul. That's going to be on Jordan Fortis. I thought, I thought that was going to be a block. But it is a charge, and we'll take immediate timeout. This is the Charger Basketball Network. Charger basketball brought to you in part by Lindell Ace Hardware, home of Husqvarna, United Community Bank, the bank that service built, Atrium Health Floyd, Automax, Shepherd's Crane Service and Alarm Systems. Also by Cedar Stream. Your image is our business. Uh, we got a wild, crazy shootout here at the corral, that's for sure, between the East Georgia Bobcats and the Georgia Highlands Chargers. Some East Georgia fans very vocal. <laughs> and it's going to be, let's see, it's going to be Charger basketball underneath. Baldwin throws it in. Payne brings it down the court for the Chargers. Jones tries to go in. Baldwin thinks about a three, and now he drives. Nelson gets a screen. He wants one. Now he goes to the other side, kicks it out, and a travel again. Yeah, he kind of had the shot and then uh, wanted to take a, a kind of a fake or get him to back up or something. And uh, you got to watch that back foot because that's a tricky move. You got to practice that almost like you do layups. I mean, it is, um, it's easy to travel on that, that call. All right, South uh, East Georgia's got the basketball. A long three, and he didn't want to take it, but Austin Colton did, and it, it's good for three. 49-42. That's uh, the reluctant three-point shooter. We've had several lead changes in this game in the first half. It was about four, and it was tied three times. That one rejected. Baldwin comes back in and puts it up tough. Giovanni looks like he's getting a call to come in. And count that. Swap in some baskets now here with East Georgia. Nelson on the wing. Thinks about a shot. Shakes him off. From the foul line, no good. Rebound. Moliere comes down with it and gets it over to Gallman. Back out to Moliere. Or, that's good. Uh, take that uh, back. That's Gallman with the three. 
51-47, and just like that, that 10-point lead just disappeared all of a sudden. It was a wise move by uh, Baldwin on that because it was going to be taken away by Gallman. Back over to Nelson. And Nelson gets called for a travel. Tell you this uh, defense by East Georgia, it, it's getting our getting the uh, our guys kind of off their uh, game a little bit and gets them up in the air. Douglas checks into the game now for the Chargers. And there is a technical foul on Payne. So Payne gets called for the Tech, and Coach uh, Mary just kind of wants to know why he called him. I don't know if there's a little John going over there or what, but uh, so Conti goes back and sits down at the score table. Douglas is waiting to come in for Payne. It's a two-shot technical on players. And now Conti comes in. So now we have a two-point game. Baker gets it over to Gallman. Gallman shots, no good. Benz McCourt comes down with the rebound. Conti sets up the offense. Nelson takes the pass, and he's immediately double teamed and mugged. Wow. Forehand slap. That was a forehand slap foul right there. And so it's going to be inbounds for Georgia Hollins underneath the basket. Nelson's going to inbound it. Gets it out to Douglas. Swing it around to Bess McCour. Giovanni back to Nelson. Nelson on the near corner. Dribbles up to the wing. He stops over to Giovanni. Nearly a backcourt and almost a travel. Giovanni to Conti. Good spin move, and whoa, they're going to count it off. And now Coach Barry gets called a technical. Wow. He gets teed up. And just like that, uh, the lead just disappears. And we're all tied at 51 now. And East Georgia's going to have the basketball. Coach Merritt uh, is not happy and just broke his clipboard. At least that's the only thing he broke was the clipboard. We can replace that. That's, it's frustrating. It is absolutely frustrating. I don't blame him one bit. It is, it is just uh, with a capital fraud. <laughs> All right, East Georgia working the ball now. Got a corner. It's about to go crazy if it goes. It doesn't. Chargers have the basketball. Conte comes down with it. 
He's going to take it, spins, and we do have a block. And Conti and Colbert now are going at it. And the coaches have got to control some of their players. They're going to actually take these two out. And they're going to call a timeout. This is a cooling off timeout. We're up tied at 51 to please peace. This is the Chargers Network. Back here at uh, the Corral, where it's hot and happening right now. 51 apiece. East Georgia State Bobcats and the Georgia Highlands College Chargers. 25 on the shot clock. And uh, the scorers uh, got a question for the, uh, they're, they're trying to get all the, uh, all the particulars down. So inbound to Douglas, and it's quickly taken out. This may go, well, I was going to say, if that ball went in, that would be, be a three points for us from them. <laughs> I've seen crazier things. Ten forty-six to go, and we're just halfway through. Hopkinson gives it back to Nelson. As a McCour. Just gets smothered and misses his shot. Hopkinson gets called for that foul, and as you might have guessed, yeah, the East Georgia bench and, and fans just go crazy. Baldwin ready to check in. That is his third foul. Douglas is going out. So Baldwin's a pretty good ball handler. Not only that, but he's a good rebounder. So need to get his aggressive play in there. And just like that, down by three. Nelson. Made it personal now, and that's not going to count, but there's a lot of bumping and grinding going on there with Gallman and uh, Nelson. East Georgia's in the bonus now. Good screen by Abeza McCord, Baldwin. Back over to Nelson. He gets another screen. Needs it. They double team him. And a foul on, on Moliere gets called for that one. And this time we're going to the line. Big free throw shots needed right here. Uh, one in, didn't count. East Georgia bringing it down.
Gallman drives. Tipped away. And goaltending called on Baldwin. Or Hopkinson, rather. And we have a timeout. This is the Chargers Sports Network. 56-51, East Georgia out in front. All right, back here at the Corral, 9.48 to go. And it is a wild place to be this afternoon here at Georgia Highlands College, Floyd Campus. We've had, what, three technical fouls, uh, players and coaches, and uh, it is, uh, it is a, a showdown. Lots of emotion. In this game, East Georgia six and eight on the year, nine and nineteen. Only a 4.29 winning percentage, and Georgia Highlands nine and four of the conference. They need us win to keep them in the top two or three in the conference for good seating in the tournament. Nelson, and he got he got fouled. And that one is good, count it. Wallace got called the, for the infraction. Off the rim, trying to keep it alive. And Diop does, gets it out to Baldwin and it's gonna be Charger basketball. All right, Baldwin. He's going to dribble, lays it up off the left side. No good. Gallman for three. He misses. Nelson comes down with the ball. He's going to push it quickly up the floor. Lays it up and in. Great pass to Hopkinson for the soft lay-in. 56-54. East Georgia out in front. And it's going to be Holland's basketball. I'll take it back, it's gonna be East Georgia basketball. One on the shot clock and that's a violation. It wouldn't have counted anyway because uh, the buzzer went off before it left his hand. Baldwin inbounds to uh, Nelson. Can tie or take the lead with this possession here. Nelson lays it up and count it and give him one more opportunity to put a three-pointer on the board.
Melton doing what a lot of point guards uh, need to do when it goes down, do what they can to penetrate the uh, middle. That's the three-pointer. And make them, make them foul you, make them come to you until they stop that, and then you got your guys on the wings open. All right, one-point lead now by the Chargers. Baker sends it on around to Colbert. They move it around to the front. Molière drives, gets stopped. Passes it off. Camp it in the lane. Gets a jumper. No good. Tip. That doesn't go in. Hopkinson brings it down to Nelson. Kicks it back out. Giovanni on the far side. 17 on the shot clock. Nelson thought about a three. Backs it back out. Nine on the shot clock. He's going to take it. It's going to hit the rim and no good. Oh Diop comes up with it. Off the left side, but a soft put back by Hopkinson. And we've got a timeout. Chargers regain the lead. Three-point lead, 59-56. This is the Chargers Sports Network. All right, we're back here at the Corral. 7, 17, 7, uh, 19, uh, sorry, 18 to go. Here we go. I'll be here right in a second. 59, 56. And this has uh, been an active game, to say the least. And it is getting hot, hot, hot. That's for sure. Temperature has gone up about 20 degrees in this, in this gym. Very intense, high emotional game today. Very important for the Georgia Highlands Chargers to uh, come away with a win. East Georgia is just wanting to get another W in their column. That would give them uh, seven wins and put them in a pretty good spot for the tournament. But it comes down to uh, today and then a couple more games. And you need all the, uh, the W's possible to get the high seed as good a seeding as possible for the quarterfinals next, uh, next week or the week after. Driving the baseline, he stops. And they say Hopkinson was moved in front of him. So Moliere is going to go to the line and shoot. Well, we're in the double bonus now, so. I believe everything is two shots now. Air Jones checks into the game. Be nice to get Jones hot as well from three and just have his rebounding. So count both of them. It's a one-point game. Nelson, he's going to drive, stops, puts it up, no good. Rebound. Die up. So that went, went way empty on that uh, possession. You can't do that <laughs> with the tenacity of this East Georgia team. And he stops for a three, and it's good. 
I don't know why Colton is being left open. That's about the third three he's hit, and nobody's jumped up on him. He's going to hit that shot. He's going to get it. Giovanni, he's going to drive. Puts it up off the glass. No good. Ball bounces around, and here comes the bo here come the Bobcats. He's going to drive a wide open lane. Misses the layup. Mamadou Diop just he he got him good on the arm. That is his fourth foul with 5.48 to go. And we've got a fresh crew ready to come in. You got Logan, Payne, and uh, let's see, I believe that's uh, Conti. Ready to check in. Austin Colton is a good shooter. 62-59, East Georgia. Sixty-three, fifty-nine. Four-point game. Payne, give and go to Baldwin, and Baldwin gets hammered on the arm. You know, maybe it's just because I envy those that can slap the backboard like that, but somebody's going to break a wrist. <laughs> You know, the backboard would be okay, but somebody's going somebody's gonna to lose a wrist before the tournament, and that's not going to be good. All right, Baldwin ready to shoot. Shoot his two. These are real important. We need both of these. We get the first one. All right, one possession game now. Just don't need another tray out of the East Georgia bunch. Conti's going to get called for a foul. Got him with a body. He did get ball, but he also got body at the same time. So you're not going to win that argument. That's his second foul. Towns gets the first shot. And they both count. Four-point game. Payne. Jumpers, good, count it, and one. And we have a one-point game. 65-64, East Georgia State out in front of Georgia Highlands. Austin Colton brings it across the line. Is it up to the high post, back over to Colton. He's going to pop a three. You, you just can't let him do that and expect anything different. Layup, no good. Slam by Baldwin with a follow up. Six 
68-66. I'm hanging on to the seat. Another three. And it's a timeout. You got to get on that guy. We got a wild one at the Corral. 71-66 Chargers Basketball Network. All right, it's the Wild West shootout. Uh, here at the Corral at Georgia Highlands College, the Floyd campus, Tony McIntosh with his 71-66 is our score. And three straight threes by Austin Colton has ignited this crowd for East, East Georgia State. The Chargers have got to get on him. Uh, he's going to sit there and do it all night and it's, uh, with his eyes closed. Conte with a basketball for the Chargers. He's going to lay it up. Good. Left-handed on the right side. Three-point game. Payne's got to stay on him. They double-team him and a backcourt. That's what you really have to do in order to shut, uh, shut, uh, shut a good shooting guard down is you're going to have to jump on him, and you're going to have to force mistakes uh, with the um, – All right, so we're, we've got a uh, – all right. Officials are making sure they had to, the right call for whatever reason. That was you – know. anyway – Conti. Over to Payne. Payne gets a screen by Baldwin. Jumpers blocked. Fortas with it. He tries to get it over to Colton. 17 on the shot clock. They're going to double team him. Takes it down inside the middle. He loses control of the ball. Let's recover. Off the backboard, no good. Reverse layup. It's in there. A little Cam Towns put it in the backside. Isaiah brings it across. Conti gets it. 255. Jones open for three. He throws it back out to the set it up again. That's going to be on, let's see, is that, uh, who is that, number five? That's Fortis. Fortis gets called for that one. Five-point game. Even though this is a brand-new floor and it is a little softer, it still hurts me when I fall. <laughs> you can shake. And that counts. Conti holding his breath. Time to make it a one possession game. Both teams with 10 fouls this half.
And he missed that one. Two possession game still. East Georgia State trying to pull up upset. And the pass is deflected. Colton Baldwin blocks Colton's shot. Good pass over to Air Jones, and wow. They both hit. Jones thinking it was a hard foul and got up, and I think he, his tennis shoe uh, caught Colbert. And now Logan getting into it. And now some fans are getting uh, near the floor. And, well, this is not good. East Georgia, uh, East Georgia State coach giving some great advice to his players. I can't exactly repeat. Maybe you heard what he said, but. Uh -oh. I'll paraphrase, just don't say anything. Both shots were missed by Jones. Ball one with a reach foul. That one rimmed out. But he got that one. It is a 74-69 game. 2.08 to go. We need a big shot here and a stop. Baldwin gets it over to Conti. Conti's going to take it up off the glass and is fouled. So Conti's got to go to the line and shoot two. All right, four-point game. Chance to make this just a one-possession game. This is an, a need. It's getting late. And he does it. Three-point game. 74-71, and the full-court press comes out. And they quickly break it. Gallman at the top of the key. He's guarded by Logan. Colbert, he's going to give it off to Colton. Seven on the shot clock. Wow, that looked like a block more than anything, but Baldwin has got him with the body.
And second shot is good. The next shot. Foul on a three. Now we got a five point game. Nelson's going to bring it down. And there's a foul on the floor. And that's going to go against Colbert. Six point game. And that is going to be five on Colbert. He's going to foul out. Coming into the game, though, is Fortis. So Fortis comes into the game now. Two huge foul shots. And then a defensive stop is going to be necessary. Misses that one. That one's good. So they're going to wave it off because they say that Jones entered the uh, lane too soon, coming from back. So, right. okay. <laughs> Not seen that one called before. They've got the numbers. No good. And the putback goes in. 79-71. Logan puts it up. So there's a timeout on the floor. East George is going to call a timeout. 55 seconds to go. 79-73 at the corral. All right, it's 55 seconds to go in this game. Here at the Corral, Georgia Highlands College and the East Georgia State Bobcats are going at it in a contest this afternoon. East Georgia State has a six point lead, two possession game. 55 seconds to go, a lot can happen in a minute. And for the Chargers, a lot more needs to happen in 55 seconds. In order for them to, they're gonna have to hit some key shots and play some awesome D. East Georgia has just about shot at will during this uh, second half. So let's see what the uh, defensive scheme the coach has drawn up for the last 55 seconds. Ball nearly taken away by Logan, but he... Uh, Knocked it out, 20, knocked a couple of seconds off of the, uh, the shot clock and the game clock, too. Long pass. And uh, had a, a must-have to must have foul. Now what needs to happen is he, he must miss his uh, foul shots, but 
that has not been the case here of late. They have hit just about everything from the charity stripe. Nelson's coming in. Jones will check out. Got the hands, a good hands team in right now. He needs this, this miss too, or it's going to get even a little steeper. And he got it. Nelson brings it across for the Chargers. And that's going to be a goal 10. Yeah, the ball, when the ball starts making that downward arc, it's, it's going to be a goal 10. Um, I, you know, the ball was on its way down. So that's going to be two points. It's a four-point game. So they got to D it up. And that was a tackle at the two-yard line by, I'm sorry, Rossbrook, uh, by uh, Isaiah Logan. He pretty much had to do that. The official, just to get the official's attention to call a foul, he had to tackle him. You got to kind of know it at a time like this, in a game like this, people are going to do the intentional foul they want to, and, but sometimes the officials just ignore it for whatever reason. So Logan just kind of had to bring him down. <laughs> All right, this is going to be Gallman, and he is going to shoot one and put it in. There's a five-point game. And we're right back where we started from. Six-point game, Nelson drives, and that's going to count. Two giant steps for man, two giant leaps for tightening this game up. shot to get this at a one possession game with 33.4 seconds to go. This is an absolute gotta have. And we don't we don't have it. So Conti has to be a sacrifice and he gets Gallman. 25 seconds to go. Payne and Jones will actually, uh, let's see, that is going to be Jones, or Payne rather, at the scorer's table, ready to check in. Five-point game. Bez McCour comes out of the game. And now we're back to a six-point game again. Well, they're going to call a block on Gallman. It was a, pretty much a collision between Baldwin and Gallman. And uh, Baldwin is just kind of sitting right in the middle of the court. He gets helped up, and he's got to shoot. Well, I thought, uh, okay. All 
right, so uh, Logan is going to shoot the free throws for Baldwin because he cannot shoot. Jones will go in after the first shot. Jones is in for Nelson. 22 seconds to go. Hopkinson getting ready to check in. He knows both of them. Four-point game. Abez McCour back in the game. Now we've got the defensive line in. That's a case where they're just not going to call it. And then they do finally call that one. Wow. Well, to be honest with you, I don't think I'd really want to foul three anyway because you know he's, uh, he's guaranteed now. With uh, Molly, I mean, you know, he, he's pretty good too, so. So Payne checks back in with the Conti. He misses that one. The Bez McCourt brings it down for Nelson. Nelson throws up a three. And it's in there. Oh my gosh. There's a timeout. We'll be back. All right, we got a two-point game. We got 5.1 seconds. And East, uh, East Georgia State has the basketball. After, an, after a prayer by Nelson went up and rolled around the rim for about a second or so, longer than we needed it to, and it fell in. Holy smokes. Give an old man a cardiac. And they instantly foul him. That's going to be Conti. He's going to get the whistle for that one. And that is his third foul. Well, 4.1 seconds. That's not going to make much of a difference here. But, uh, but Gallman is going to go to the line. He's been pretty good at the free throw line, too. We, he can really only needs to make one. But all right. If he hits this one, it's going to be it's going to be tough. Uh, it, that, that might be all she wrote. I don't know, but it is five seconds. A lot of weirder things have happened. Abez McCord goes out, and um, Baldwin comes back into the game. Logan's back into the game, and that might seal the deal. We'll see what happens, though. I mean, it's four-point game. Another prayer and a foul, that might be a thing. And that's not going to be the case, though. So that's going to be it. A tough fought game, but East Georgia State comes out on top, 86-82. For everyone here, thanks for viewing and joining us for Georgia Highlands Chargers basketball.